Hey there, Lauren from LS Auto Tech here. Um, so we have a 91 Subaru Legacy uh, with the EJ22 engine. Um, so the problem I've been having with it is um, it's overheating after 10 minutes of driving. Uh, much like uh, a lot of other Subarus that I've heard of having this problem. Um, seems like people try the, um, you know, the whole uh, bleeding the coolant system route they try uh, oh maybe it's not it's the thermostat uh, not opening um, so on this particular car uh, we've got a decent decent compression on the uh, the back two cylinders most towards the bulkhead um, getting about a hundred uh, psi on the compression test and uh, 120 on the passenger rear uh, cylinder. Now, I was I wanted to do a cylinder leak down test um, because the compression test was uh, kind of marginal, not non-conclusive. So, uh, what I went ahead and did is um, I took my compression tester and uh, removed the Schrader valve on the other end of the uh, connection. Uh, so that way the air would be able to pass through um, and what this connection is here on the on my compression tester it's uh, just your, net, your uh, standard airline connection um, so it will hook up to uh, your air hose and you can basically put put uh, uh, air compressor air which is I have about 100 psi into the cylinder to see if um, the air will uh, pass through the head gasket and put pressure on the coolant like there is pressure on this I just released the cap and uh, it all spat out and that was basically how I uh, completely ruled out a bad head gasket um, on the portion in between the uh, cylinder and the cooling jacket um, so I'll go ahead and put the phone my, my video recorder down and uh, let you ob observe what I have going on here I'll see if I can set this thing up here somehow uh, So, sorry for that delay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up pressure to um, the driver's side uh, rear cylinder just to watch that coolant come out again here. Put pressure on the cylinder. Pressure on the cylinder here. Let's see what happens. So, so I'm getting a little bit of air coming out of the overflow tube. So that's basically letting me know that the air is passing through the head gasket into the cooling jacket and putting pressure on the on the cooling system. 
basically more pressure than the uh, than the cap here is rated at, which is 13 pounds of pressure. Where if it's over 13 pounds of pressure, it's gonna spew out coolant. So as you can see, it's spewing out air. So bad head gasket.